2024 NFL mock draft, bro. We're waiting for the draft. We can't wait. We know the Bears got the number one pick. Are they going to trade Justin Fields? Are they not? I really don't know, bro. Uh, me personally, if I was the Bears, I would not trade Justin Fields. I would trade back in the draft, give up that number one pick, and just dang near get two top ten picks, get like Marvin Harrison and somebody else, and then get like another second round pick. But hey, we're just going to go based off no trades today, and we're just going strictly player by player. And with the first overall pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select. I don't know what the sound is, but, but y'all know what I'm talking about. They're going to take, take Caleb Williams, the first overall pick. Everybody's going to be like, ooh, Caleb Williams, oh my God. But at this point, they have traded Justin Fields. For like a third rounder, bro. I don't think they're going to get a whole lot out of just for Justin Fields because trade deadlines have been going on for a minute. I mean, not trade deadline. The free agency has been going on, uh, on for a minute. And I just don't think it's, uh, it's going to happen for them. But the Washington Commanders did do a lot of stuff in this offseason so far. And they signed a lot of old heads. Like, they low-key signed OD old heads. But call me crazy, bro. Oh, quarterbacks. Yeah, they're definitely taking a quarterback. Call me crazy. I think they're taking Jaden Daniels with the second overall pick. Drake May is cool and all, but I think they pass on him. They want an athletic quarterback, and they're going to go Jaden Daniels. In all honesty, I also think the Patriots trade back and end up drafting uh, J.J. McCarthy. But, like I said, no trade backs. We're just going straight mock draft, no trades, no nothing. And Drake May goes, goes third right here. Um, this is obvious right here. Marvin Harrison for sure going to the Arizona Cardinals, which I think is a great pick. I really think that's a great pick for them. Uh, arguably the best player in this draft, in the 2024 draft. And I really want the Bears to get him with Justin Fields, DJ Moore, and and Marvin Harrison, Justin Fields. Yeah, yeah. I want that duo to happen, but it's just, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. And that's tough. But I've been chatting, so let me stop chatting. With the fifth pick, also think the Chargers are going to trade back. But they could do a lot right here, bro. Like, I feel like you can't not take Joe Olt right here. Um, but they just lost Mike Williams today. I've been filming this video. It's Wednesday. Probably won't go up on Wednesday, but it is Wednesday. They just lost Mike Williams. And I'm just like, how do they not take Malik Neighbors right here, bro? Like, how do they not go Malik Neighbors? But here is where it gets a little, uh, a little tricky. The Giants just traded for Drew Locke. Are they going to stick with Drew Locke? I don't know. But if they do stick with Drew Locke and give him a year, um, I'm going to say that they take Joe Alt right here with the six overall pick. Because Joe Alt is 6'9", offensive tackle. Um, that's just an insane measurement right there. Pause. Like, that's just insane if I'm a, if I'm a keep it a buck with y'all. But we get to the Titans. They just traded for Calvin Ridley today um, or signed him, whatever. Um, so I think they're going to take bro from Penn State. Uh, I got to find him. Um, yeah, right here. I think they take uh, Olumuwea Fashanu at, at tackle. So then they're going to have another solid offensive lineman, which is cool for them. And right here, the Falcons. Kirk Cousins, welcome to the team. That's cool. We definitely not taking a tight end. We got Kyle Pitts. We need another receiver. And boom, Roma Dunze. Roma Dunze. Some people say he's actually the best receiver in the class. Do I really know? No. I'm kind of just making this list as I go. Um, but, yeah, y'all going to have to do with what I got going on. But I don't know why it says that they don't need a uh, – I don't know why it says the Bears don't need an offensive lineman. Um, so maybe I should have done my homework on what the Bears are going to take at nine. But in all honesty, I think they're going to take an offensive lineman, and they're going to take the best available. So I'm going to go with bro from Oregon State. Now the Jets. The Jets are tricky, bro. Um, could I see Brock Bowers actually going to the Jets? I don't know. I don't feel like he's going to drop this far for real. So I think that it's only smart for them to take Brock Bowers right here. Like you got CJ Azuma, Tyler Conklin is cool and all. They have made some offensive line um, plays. So I'm going to say they take, uh, they take Brock Bowers to go crazy right here. And now this is where we start to get a little uh, a little confused because we got the Vikings, another team that also may trade up. Um, but, I'm, you know, they just got, what, Sam Darnold? They traded for Sam Darnold. Like, 
What are they doing with Sam Darnold, bro? Like, what could they possibly be doing with Sam Darnold? I don't know. But based off that move, I almost don't even want to say J.J. McCarthy goes here. Um, I think that the Broncos trade up for J.J. McCarthy and the Vikings take an offensive lineman right here. And we're going to go with this guy. I don't know. Offensive lineman picks are not my speed. Give me the skill positions, and I'll tell you exactly where everybody's going to go. But right here, I think J.J. McCarthy goes to the Broncos. I literally have no idea who their starting quarterback is right now. But, yeah, that is what it is. Um, so it's cool. But the Raiders, uh, Antonio Pierce, he's trying to fire up that defense. I really think they should get a receiver. Like, if they could trade up to get a, a Dunze, I think they do that. But they just signed Gardner Minshew, so I don't really know. But I'm saying they go DB. Let me find the DBs. I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I haven't even seen this dude play for real. Um, he's a white corner. He's cool and all. But I think Terry on, from what I've seen, I think Terry on Arnold's the best corner. So I think the Raiders go with him right there. Uh, the Saints, no idea what they need. Who watches the Saints, bro? Like, do any of y'all watch the Saints? If y'all came to this video and expected some crazy breakdown, y'all came to the wrong video. You know, I got the first like five, six picks for you. And then I got some skill positions, and then I got my team, the Eagles, and I'm going to call it for real. But uh, we're going to go ahead and give them uh, J.C. Latham because I will say that the Saints are notorious for drafting a uh, which I'm going to call in the first round. You may think that I'm just looking at the freaking what people need, but based off me knowing ball, uh, Michael Pittman and Antonio Pierce. No, not Antonio Pierce. What's his name? What's the other? Alec Pierce. Um, I think they need another wide receiver, and I think it's a good spot for Brian Thomas. Because he had a really good, uh, 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 what's it called? He had a really good um, combine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it says they need an off uh, edge rusher. Okay, I'm going to give him Dallas Turner then. That's the best edge rusher in the league. The Jags need a guard, but we'll go find them a guard real quick. You feel me? You feel me? Um, offensive linemen, not guards. What are these? Jackson Power Center? Perfect. Perfect right here. Boom. Uh, yeah, y'all could go ahead and skip about two minutes ahead while I get through these goofy-ass teams. But uh, the Bengals, they're going to lose Tyler Boyd for sure. Um, that would be crazy if Brock Bowers dropped to the Bengals. I actually think that would be fire. But I'm going to go ahead and give uh, Joe Burrow some more help on the O-line. I don't really know. I literally don't know any of these players. I'm a, I don't know any of these players. Bro, they got Mims this high? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay. Whatever. I guess, uh, you know, I guess they know ball more than us. Uh, I don't know if there's another good tight end in this class. Oh, wait. I got to get rid of some of this stuff. Tweaking. I'm tweaking. Nah, Sanders is for sure a second rounder. Who's best available? They don't take which I'll call it. I think they, they could go Byron Murphy right here, bro. I think that's a good look for them. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if someone like... The Rams or someone with an old quarterback takes like a Joe Milton because Joe Milton is kind of like Anthony Richardson. He just doesn't have as much hype. I mean, not a first round pick, obviously, but I think that would be insane if somebody took, I think that would be a good play if one of those teams with an old quarterback took Joe Milton. Um, I think it's a great play, but I'm going to go Quinion Mitchell right here. Um, I'm not racist. I just don't know what Cooper DeJean, DeJean is like, and I'm going to go ahead and like give him to my Eagles just because. Um, so I'm waiting to, to draft my boy right there, right there. Uh, I think the Steelers need offense and I think they need a wide receiver. I'm going to go ahead and give them, bro, what was the dude that Xavier Worthy broke the record? Does he get boosted this high? I don't know. But based off what I've seen, A.D. Mitchell's nice. I like Keon Coleman, bro. Him and, uh, George Pickens would be tough. Him and George Pickens would be really tough. Uh... The Dolphins also, if they get what's his face, would be insane. If they get uh, um, what's his face, Brock Bowers. Brock Bowers can go to a lot of these teams and just go crazy. We're gonna go ahead and give them an O lineman. The Eagles, Cooper, DeJean, DeJean, however you say it. Um, the Texans right here. What do the Texans need? They could you? No, they got Dalton Schultz. That's solid. I feel like they got really good. They just lost. They just signed Jeff Okuda. They got Derek Stingley. I think they need a safety, right? Do they have any good safeties in this draft, bro? Are there any good safeties? Tyler Newbin? You know, bro, we're going to go ahead and throw them a safety in Tyler Newbin. This could be a complete miss, but what do I really know about ball? Right, they got any good receivers for the 
Bro, I'm going to say they stay in Texas. They draft a the receiver. They're going to draft a the receiver. They're going to take A.D. Mitchell right here. Um, Green Bay just traded for Josh Jacobs. They're not taking a running back. Bro, I've really been chatting. That's crazy, but whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give them Newton. Solid Illinois. Uh, the Bucks. What do the Bucks need? It says they need everything. I think Jared Verse is on this list for too long. So we're going Jared Verse right here. I'll give him Nate Wiggins. Um, a linebacker? Peyton Wilson. This dude did go crazy. Him and, uh, what's his name? Matt Milano could be crazy. He had a good, which I'm going to call it, a good, uh, a good, a good, a good, a good thing. The, uh, the Lions just traded for Carlton Davis and Amik Robertson. So I think they're going to go. I don't know if they really need O-line like that. I like this dude off their edge, bro. Him and Panay Sewell just going at each other every day in practice could be tough. This team definitely needs a wide receiver. Um, they got two small receivers. Troy Fl Franklin's kind of of a bigger receiver, I think. Is he? Let's see. Let's see what he's talking about. Um, can I just see how, how tall he is? Okay, so, okay. Most drafted by the Ravens? Okay, bet. We're going to take him right here then. Um, I'm going to take Lad McConkey to the freaking Chiefs. And right here for the Niners, we're going to go ahead and take, they need a corner? Kool-Aid is still available? They're going to take Kool-Aid. I actually hope they don't get Kool-Aid. But with the last pick of the first round, we got Lad McConkey. Lad McConkey. Who they got him going to? Trends? The Chiefs? Okay, maybe I was maybe I was kind of cooking with this picks. But all right, let's see. Let's see what they graded my draft. Did they grade it or did, oh no thanks? Um so here's my draft. It's kind of trash, but do I really know ball? Not really, I guess, when it comes to drafting. But uh this is what I think is gonna happen. If there's no trades, there's obviously gonna be several trades. But if this gets anywhere near close, like, all y'all got to sub. All y'all got to, you know, send me, like, $150, tight shit, tight shit, tight shit. But, yeah, uh, I don't think this is a bad draft. I actually want to show this to one of my former coworkers to see what they think about this draft. Um, but, yeah, y'all feel free to pause the video at any time to look at my draft. But if not, hey, man, make sure y'all like the video. We're going to be posting a lot more long-form videos. We got March Madness bracket video coming. We got uh, some more NFL videos. We got some NBA videos. So stay tuned, man. I'm going to start pumping out some content. I know it's just been a lot of shorts. But, yeah, stay tuned. Like the video. And we out of here.